Hello everyone, my name is Jamie. I am the artist behind Tiny Foxtrot Art and welcome to my art channel. This is my first YouTube video and today I thought it would be kind of fun just to do a meet the artist type of video. You usually see these around your social media. I got my template specifically off DeviantArt which I will link in the description below. As I'm doing a speed draw, please excuse the plane, as I'm doing a speed draw of my self-portrait, I will go over the little bits um, on the sheet itself. As you know, my name is Tiny Foxtrot. That is my art channel name. Um, all my social media name, I will have all my social media linked below as well in the description. I am 29 years old, which is uh, kind of old in the, the sphere <laughs> of the internet. Um, I identify as female, which my pronouns are she and her. Whenever you communicate with me, please let me know what your pronouns are. I do not want to misgender anybody, and I have full respect for all of you. Uh, my birthday does fall on December 22nd, which means I am between that uh, Christmas time. <laughs> So my birthday gifts tend to be wrapped up with my Christmas gifts, but as an adult, I can buy my own gifts. Uh, my zodiac sign is considered a Capricorn cusp, which means I am on that little edge between the 21st and the 22nd where I'm not fully Capricorn and I'm not fully Sagittarius. Um, religion, you can read it. I'm not going to go too much into it. I don't really want that kind of discussion on here since that is not the purpose of my channel. My race, I'm considered mixed. I have a lovely Hispanic mother and a Caucasian father who has heavy German influence. I am from the United States and I am five foot six. That's how tall I am. So going over these attributes, um, I kind of did my own interpretation because you can only really compare yourself to yourself. So. My physical attributes, I consider that kind of strength, like how much I can like lift. Um, I would consider myself kind of weak. <laughs> uh, and it really just depends on what part of my body. I have very weak little arms, but very strong legs. I could kick and, you know, lift with my legs very well, but if it's just my arms, forget it. I can't. I'm weak. <laughs> Opening jars is the bane of my existence. Social, I saw that more of like how introverted or extroverted you are. I'm very introverted. I don't really go out of my way to meet people or make friends or anything like that. Um, the friends I do have are people that I've met through other people. Um, I am definitely that type of introvert that gets adopted by extroverts. <laughs> and it's just, I don't know. I'm really bad at, so at small talk and I don't know how to talk to people just to be like, hi, I want to be your friend. I just, that's just something I never learned. <laughs> uh, for mental, I figured that was based on intelligence. For me, I'm considering myself above intelligence, but it really depends on the subject. There are some things that I'm just, I'm dumb in. I wouldn't call myself dumb, but I'm, I'm uneducated in. Or I have vague pieces of knowledge of. But there are other things that I would consider myself very intelligent in, so it's just Intelligence is a spectrum. It's really hard to say like how intelligent you really are. Uh, for my capacities, my artistic ability, I would say I'm, I'm about average. I'm not beginner. I'm not intermediate. There are things that I do have to work on, um, but I'm not completely beginner. So I would say I'm, I'm about average. Don't compare me to, you know, really great artists like Jacqueline Delion or um, Leilani Art. They're great. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely not average to them. Uh, for cooking, I'm, I would say I'm above average. I can cook extremely well, and I can read a recipe and recreate it. Um, so for example, like, making ramen compared to, like, a beef wellington, I could probably make a beef wellington kind of thing. Like, that's where my skill levels are at, and it's just because I've practiced. I have a passion for cooking. Not so much baking. I'm not a great baker, but I can cook extremely well. Uh, another capacity that I thought would be kind of fun to talk about was my ability to go down the rabbit hole. If you don't know what I mean, it's when you can take a subject, any subject, and just run with it. I do that a lot. I tend to Google things. I tend to learn facts. If there's something I want to know, I Google it. I'm probably on a list somewhere. I'm pretty sure because I've Googled some weird things, but I have learned a lot and I tend to share it with people and I just go off into the distance with it and drag anyone who is willing to go with me. So I'm pretty strong in that skill. Onto my weakness and fears. I didn't go too deep into this because I want this to be kind of fun. <laughs> We don't, we don't want to get deep right now. This is an introductory, and if we get too deep, 
This is just gonna be like a sad video. My first weakness is coleslaw. I do not co like coleslaw at all. It is gross. I've never liked coleslaw. And I would say it could incapacitate me if you just threw coleslaw down my throat. Then again, throwing anything down my throat would incapacitate me pretty good. But coleslaw in particular, it's just, it's gross. It's nasty. I hate it. The next one is a, uh, a legit fear I have and I don't know why. And it is the concept of a whale breaching the ocean water, hitting my rowboat and capsizing it. I have no idea why I have this fear, but I do. And <laughs> I just, it terrifies me of just like being in the middle of the ocean in a rowboat and just a whale out of nowhere capsizing my boat and then I'm stranded in the middle of the ocean which for a very long time was a concept that I was like that's that's not gonna ever happen to me and then I saw a video of these whales breaching the water pretty close to the shore and my fear became so much more real uh the next more real fear is the fear of failure um i figured i'd put that in there i do have this intense fear of failure it stops me from doing a lot of things but to get past that i have pushed myself to do this youtube i'm putting myself out there despite not being where i think i should be and all that jazz i'm just i'm throwing myself out there and yeah that's a good way to get past failure it's just just do it so my likes i like cephalopods squid and octopus in particular I like them as animals, and I like them as food. Squid and octopus is delicious to me. All art things. I like art. I like watching art. I like learning about art. Art history is extremely fascinating if you get a chance to learn it. Cottage core and goblin core are two of my favorite aesthetics. I like watching TikToks about them, YouTube videos. I wish I could live that aesthetic. I'm not quite there yet. As you see in my picture, I tend to not wear pants. Uh, the pantless lifestyle is everything I want. <laughs> the next thing, Animal Crossing, is one of my favorite games. I love games in general. I love video games. I like watching them. Game Grumps is one of my favorite uh, gaming channels. If you ever want to check them out, just YouTube Game Grumps. Animal Crossing has just a special place in my heart. It is a calming experience. I get to talk to animals. I get to decorate. It is Oh, I love it. Just add cooking and gardening and I will never leave that game. Anime. I do like watching really good animes. The one I'm currently watching right now is Monster. You can find the entire series on YouTube. If I can find the whole playlist, I'll link below. It is oh, it's so good. I, I love Monster. If you haven't watched it yet, give it a chance. It is it's so good. Cooking, obviously. I do love cooking. I also like hoarding plants and gardening. Um, I miss gardening so much and I can't wait till I'm in a space where I can garden again. It'll happen. And it'll happen soon, I know it. Dislikes, coleslaw, obviously. Really don't like coleslaw. We went over it, it's one of my weaknesses. The next thing is ranch. I really don't like ranch dressing. And growing up, all we had was ranch dressing. And I thought that was the only dressing in the world until I discovered Italian. And then I was like, what What have I, what have I been doing my entire life? Uh, the usual bad human stuff, you all know. Racism, violence, etc. You know, don't be a bad person. I don't like that. Being late. Oh my gosh. I hate being late. I like being on time. I like having plenty of time to get there, getting things done. Being late makes me so anxious. Oh, I just hate it. Disorganization, which is kind of, you know, ironic because I tend to be very disorganized. I have been doing my best to kind of more organize my life and schedule, which has helped with my anxiety so much. So yeah, disorganization. Extreme violence when I'm not expecting it in media. So like in animes and shows, it's just like out of nowhere. It's just like absolute massive occurs and I'm not expecting it. I hate it. Like I just get physically repulsed by it. And really bad animation. I just, I can't watch a show with bad animation. I don't know why. I just can't. Um, some of my accomplishments. I have been featured in a gallery in Houston. I haven't been sent because I haven't tried, but that was one of my, my favorite accomplishments. I won an art contest in, in my college. I'm going to be graduating with a fine arts associates very, very soon. I'm on my last semester starting YouTube. And that has been like the biggest accomplishment for me is putting myself out there for that. Also, I am starting to better myself, my mental health, my physical health, my art. I feel it is a huge accomplishment for me and I'm, I'm very excited to be showing that journey here as well. A little bit about my YouTube channel and what I'm going to be doing. I'm mainly going to be talking about 
my life journey. I want this to be an encouragement to people that it's never too late to start art, that you can be successful doing art. I actually had a complete career change to art, which some may see as a mistake. It is something that I've always wanted to do and I am happy to talk about it here. I also want to use this channel as a way to track my own progress as an artist. I don't really draw <laughs> as often as I should and I figured having a YouTube channel would force me to do that. I want to get better, I want to push my limits, I want to really strive to become the artist that I've always dreamed of being. And I've always wanted to make money off my art, to have a career through art. And these are the first steps that I'm taking to make that dream come true. And even if I don't like get to that point, I, I want to be able to say that I tried. And I want other younger artists or other artists in general to take what I've done and correct my mistakes and be successful. I want everyone to live the dream that they want. So that's that's my goal here on the channel and also because like I tend to talk to myself while drawing anyway so I figured why not record it? Maybe it's entertaining, maybe someone will find a use out of my ramblings and uh, It'll make me feel not so lonely talking to you, friends. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Those are my main goals. I'm also going to talk about my school experience. I am currently going to college. I will be graduating with my first associates, uh, Fine Art, and I'm hoping to get into a bachelor's program. I'm not exactly sure what path I want to take. I'm stuck between like going full on illustration, which is what I do. I tend to illustrate or going into animation. I'm I'm not sure and it just really depends on like where the cards are dealt for me. I would love to be an animator. I do have a animation concept that maybe I'll make a, a pitch bible for here on my YouTube channel um, and we'll see where it goes from there. <laughs> but yeah, and I'm also going to dabble with animation on here to sort of learn the basics so you'll get to see some of my own really bad animation and learn from that. Maybe it'll encourage you as well to try a new medium. I will be working mainly in digital art just because it's easier to record and, you know, do with. <laughs> but I do want to eventually show traditional mediums here on my channel. I particularly love to paint. I'm currently taking a watercolor class, but I really love oil painting. I just don't currently have the space for it. So digital art is where we're mainly going to be in for medium. For the program that I'm using, it's a Clip Studio Paint. I will probably use Procreate as well, and I'm actually more familiar with Procreate, but we'll we'll experiment with that. I, I'm not sure how to record on my iPad just yet. So yeah, Clip Studio Paint on here, and I am using a Wacom tablet. It's the screen tablet. I'll, I'll link it below. I'm not, I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> so I'll link all that information below, including my recording program, um, what mic I'm using, etc. The way it's there for your reference. We all want to um, help each other in the community. And yeah, so <laughs> that's really like all about me. And I'm sure like as we go along, as I'm talking about my journey, you'll learn more. And I really hope that you guys come along with me. As we're reaching the end of the video, I'd like to give a quick thank you to some key people in my life who have always encouraged me to pursue my passions and to take on art full force and encourage me to start a YouTube channel, something that I never thought I would do. The first person is my mom. Uh, she has always encouraged me to do art. And if I had listened to her sooner, I would be a lot further along my art journey. Uh, so thank you, mom. My life partner, Evan, also known as Ivarn, the writer on Twitter. They do some amazing roleplay projects. If you guys are interested, go check them out on Twitter. My friend, Phoenix, she's my best friend who's always encouraged me and told me, just do it, you can do it. Another friend of mine, New, who has a YouTube channel, which I will link down below. She is a fellow artist who has also encouraged me and has given me great advice. Crown, uh, who has a Twitch and YouTube, which I will link below. Crown and their community has been the biggest encouragement for me to start YouTube, to get back into art. They are just, they're just great people. I, I can't describe to you how wonderful they are. I really recommend go checking them out, um, joining the community, 
if you just want to be around good people, Crown and their community is just, oh, just chef kiss. They're, they're wonderful. Omnia, who is a YouTube commentary channel, YouTube is going to be down below. I don't personally know Omnia, but I have to give them a shout out. Uh, I've made a comment once about my fears of starting a YouTube channel, and Omnia really sent me an encouraging message, so I'd like to thank them. All the creators who have inspired me, I just, I have a long list of people that I don't know personally that has really helped me get back into art. In particular, Camilla de Ecaro. I hadn't drawn for three years, and I saw a piece done by Camilla de Ecaro, and it just it ignited something in me. So thank you to all those creators, and those of you who are creating, you are also an inspiration to me. I just, I may not have come across your work yet, or maybe I have. I just want you to know that it's thanks to people like you and putting your content out there, it helps people like me. So thank you. All of my college teachers, I've had some great college teachers. They have been so encouraging and have helped me with my, my art journey. Thank you all of them. And I have such a long list of friends and family who have given me their love and support throughout the years. I have a great, amazing group of friends that I just, I would die for them. They are, they are the loves of my life and I am so grateful to have them. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you come back. If you like this video, please leave me a like. Uh, if you'd like to see more of my videos, I'm gonna be posting probably twice a month. So subscribe so you can see when I'm posting up. Leave me a comment, tell me about you, introduce yourself. I am so excited to start my own community and encourage others. So please come back and have another tiny foxtrot with me and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Bye.